pre-season fixture at home to Frickley. Give us your thoughts on tonight's 5-0 win. Um, I thought, you know, first 20 minutes we struggled to get to grips with him a little bit in, in terms of the way that they were playing out and, and you know, we'd, we'd set the task of going and pressing high and, and getting right and I thought, you know, individually we were pressing but collectively didn't probably didn't quite get it right and once or twice they got away on the counter a little bit and, you know, a little bit more cuteness from them might have even gone 1-0 up at that point but, um, you know, we, we gave the instruction, tweaked a few things in terms of people going in there and making sure we're not over covering at the back and we, we're getting in there and pressing through the middle when the front men set off and, I think once we did that, you know, we forced them a little bit more direct and, and obviously Burnsy and Steersy from there are, are always going to win more 50-50s than the lose. Um, and it's about us picking the loose ball up from there and recycling it and, and scoring good goals. And I think, you know, you look at at least three of the five goals have been really good, well-worked uh, well goals. And I think I'd go as far as to say the third one's as good a goal I've seen on this pitch for a number of years. And, and it were a really good team goal, a lot of passing set off by Harry at the back thrown out to Jack, turn you know, a little ball down the corner, Adam turns it into Joe, good pass in behind for Nash, who, who's obviously been a willing runner all night, a little flick round the corner and Boyley puts it away and you know, I think when the highlights come out, it'll show the, the quality of goal that that was and you know, that's, that's what we want to be, we want to be, we want to be a side that get the ball down, we want to be a side that play, um, but ultimately when you do that, you've got to have a good structure behind what you're trying to do going forward um, and we've managed to do that tonight, so we've just said to the players, you know, let that be the minimum bar that we aspire to be, um, and we'll always aim for improvement. And if we do that, you know, we'll continue. There is room for improvement, and we'll continue to try and find that. We're almost at the halfway stage of the, the pre-season fixtures. How pleased have you been with the start to that, and what are you looking for for the remaining games? I said last week we've probably pushed, um, you know, five or six players further than we would have liked at this point. You know, I think there's, I think there's at least. Uh, seven players now who's played 90 minutes and, and beyond more than once so um, you know we're in a really good position it's important that you know you, you don't want to peak too soon you might if you want to make sure when the 5th of August comes you, you're hitting your peak but you know a lot of players have played 60 minutes and beyond tonight the ones that were on the bench will do the same on Friday they'll come in and, and play the 60s and we'll reverse the game time and then from there it's about just you know settling a team down what we see moving forward and, and getting consistent performances hoping to hit the ground running when the season starts. We've seen the fixtures released over the last week. Obviously, FA Cup first up. Um, for, from those league fixtures, any that stand out you're looking forward to ahead of season? So you've got to play everybody twice, haven't you? You know, you're looking for fixtures coming out early, and teams will be looking at certain teams. But you know, someone asked me the other day if a team goes well last season, they don't have a divine right to go well this season. If if teams were struggling down the bottom again, they'll not be. You know, there'll be teams that were down there who'll spring a surprise and are up the top end this season. So. You know, we've got to take everybody on an even keel, make sure we approach each game the same. I know it's all cliche, we'll take one game at a time and we'll play everybody twice. And, you know, if we continue to do things consistently well and we stick to stick to us principles and what we believe in, the players keep themselves fit, you're injury free, which is which is what you aim for more than most, uh, more than anything, and uh, then we'll aim, to, we'll aim to have a good season. But, you know, there's a long way to go. We're only in pre season and, uh, and the fixes have only just been released. But, you know, we're looking forward to getting going and getting started and hopefully putting our stamp on what we want to do. Brilliant. Well done.